The purpose of this video is to demonstrate VIN etching of a catalytic converter. Here we are, we have our black box. Uh, it's the set, and we also have a bottle of electrolyte plus a little tray to uh, uh, pour the electrolyte into. On the black box, we want the setting to be on etch, not mark. And this is the little applicator that we're going to use that gets dipped into the electrolyte in the tray. First thing we want to do is clean our uh, our catalytic converter a little bit with some kind of a wire brush. So we have our stencil, uh, proper stencil for this catalytic converter. We're going to remove the stencil from the blue backing. We're just going to discard that blue backing because this stencil does not have a sticky back. We need to somehow figure out a way to adhere it to the metal. What, what we're going to do is just give the back a quick spray of water. Just a little spray. We're going to shake off the excess. We now have some moisture on the back of the stencil. We'll apply that to the catalytic converter like that. Rub it out, smooth it out with our, with our finger to get the bubbles out, if you will. And in a, uh, very quickly, that will adhere nicely to the metal. Okay, so next step will be to clip our red lead onto the metal catalytic converter. Trying to find a halfway decent electrical connection with that red clip lead. Okay, next step is to do the marking. We do that by, first of all, making sure that we have just a little bit of electrolyte proper electrolyte in this tray. Just we, we just need an ounce or two. We have that electrolyte in our tray. We now take our applicator. We have our stencil on the catalytic converter metal. We have our red clip lead in place on that metal. We make sure that our black box is turned on. We're gonna have it, we're gonna have that switch in the etch mode not the mark mode, but in the etch mode for this process. We simply dip our applicator into the electrolyte like that, shake it off, and next we hold it on to the stencil image. And we can look at, uh, with, the, with the proper light, we can look at that stencil and we can see where that VIN is. And we can simply hold this on there for about five to 10 seconds, five to 10 seconds, move over to get the second part of the VIN. Again, five to 10 seconds. When we remove, when we put our applicator aside, pull the stencil off, we'll have a nice mark on the metal. You can see here, I've marked it in several different places. Uh, and again, that you may need to adjust that timing, but five to ten seconds should be plenty of time to give a nice etch of the VIN on that catalytic converter. So when we're, we've got our etches all, all completed, uh, and so we can simply take a quick spray of water, swipe it with a paper towel, to get off any excess electrolyte. This is probably not critical, but it might be useful to do, and we're done.